It's a blessing to be in a, in a place such as this, as this whare is Te Whare Wānanga o Tūpai. It gives us some great his, history about uh, the Māori people of this area, but we're all linked into the embodiment of the Whare Nui and uh, the stories that are told and the stories that have been lost over the years in regards to the greatness of uh, what culture meant to a community to learn and listen to the stories of the Māori and how we sit within the embodiment of our, our tipuna, our ancestors. I think the interesting thing for me to stand in the whare nui and something that I didn't have before I went on a journey uh, was the understanding of what it meant to be Māori. It was like an empty void and it was a calling that um, I could feel but didn't understand. It was like travelling all over the world and playing for the All Blacks and playing against many great foes. But to come home and find, find out that the emptiness for me was something more than just physical. Uh, the spiritual, um, or the wairua, the healing uh, and the emptiness that I had took me on a journey into a whare. Um, they gave me the, the nourishment and ability to truly connect with my tipuna, my ancestors. And in the end, it was that nourishment that has helped me to grow as a Māori man and find the understanding of what it means to be a good Māori man as individuals. We can physically get fit. We can nourish ourselves with food to get fit. But I think there's something greater in the spirit that is required to complete the circle of fitness. And having found that in the whare, in the kōrero, in the talk of this whare gave me a true sense of understanding of who I was. And it's the spiritual fitness and that journey for me that has brought me into this place.